Hey everybody! So I mentioned in a recent Talk Tuesday that I was going to be doing some reviews on hair toppers and wigs and some of you guys are really excited to see this because you wanted to know what I was trying out for my hair loss. A lot of you are dealing with hair loss of your own so I just wanted to share with you guys. So that's what this video is going to be about. This is going to be a review on a hair topper. Now I want to first start off by saying I am loving this shade of blonde. I have not been quite this blonde since probably I was a teenager, maybe my early 20s, but for a long period of time there, I was this blonde and I absolutely loved it. It's only when I had kids that my hair started getting darker and I wasn't dyeing it or bleaching it as often. So when I saw that this company had this option for hair, I was like, you know what, I wanna try it out. I have a tan right now, I feel like I can pull it off. Um, so yeah, I'm just loving it. It's very, very blonde and it's just really fun to try out different colors. So the hair topper I am showing you today is from thinhairthick.com and the really unique thing about this hair topper is that there are actually no clips or glue or adhesives of any sort keeping this topper to my head, which might sound really strange. You might be like, how is it staying on your head? I am going to show you that, but it's a really unique concept. I've never seen anything like it before. The owner's name is Tiffany and she reached out to me. She wanted me to check it out because she's had experience with um, the standard toppers where they clip into your hair and a lot of times that can put a lot of stress on those areas of your hair, especially if you have minimal hair to begin with and the clips are always sitting in the same spot sometimes you can actually lose part of the hair in that area and it's just a lot of stress on your hair. Tiffany has actually experienced hair loss for a little over 10 years now and it all started after the birth of her triplets. A lot of women lose a lot of hair when they give birth and some women it just doesn't come back the way it was before. So she was on the hunt to come up with really high quality human hair. I will mention a lot of my toppers are synthetic and this one is real premium quality human hair. It just feels amazing. It's like, it's like the hair I never had. So this one you can use heat tools on, um, you can curl it, you could blow dry it. It is going to be fine in heat because it is real hair and obviously it feels just like real hair because it is real hair. So she was on the hunt to create something that wouldn't add that extra stress to her head, that would be comfortable to wear but that would be secure at the same time. So when I received this topper in the mail I was immediately blown away by the part itself. This is the most natural looking part I've ever seen. I actually brought up the website to see what it is. It says it's a fine base material consisting of lace and silk. So let me just come in Hang on, I want to make sure you can actually see it. So you can see the actual part itself. Hopefully I'm getting close enough. If not, I'll insert a picture. But even when you're right up close to it, it honestly looks like scalp. There's no um, like mesh appearance. Sorry, I just put hair all over my face. There's no meshy look to it because some toppers, if you get really up close, you can kind of see the mesh where the hair enters. But this, I don't know how they did it. Even, like I said, even when you get right up close, it just looks like scalp. It's so amazing. So I'm definitely impressed by that. All right, so before I show you how this is actually adhering to my head, I'm just looking at the website again. It comes in three lengths. So there's short, which is six to eight inches. Medium is 10 to 12 and long is 14 to 16 inches, which I believe is what I have here. It comes in a lot of different colors. They can actually customize different colors. I have one that has roots in it, which I actually requested because I like the look of roots. Some people do some people don't I just I don't always want to look like I just had my hair done I kind of look like the the look of the roots growing out so they have that option and they have different textures as far as straight wavy things like that so this is basically what it looks like from the front here this is obviously a straight one and like I said it feels so soft and silky okay I'm gonna turn around and show you the back all right so this is what it looks like from the back I'm using a mirror so I can see what you guys can see as you can see, it just looks absolutely beautiful. The only piece of feedback I had for them was that if you have a lot of hair loss right in this kind of back of your head, crown region of your head, sometimes the hair can part. Now I've back combed in this region so that you can't actually see too much of it right now, but if you had a really big bald spot right here, it does take a bit of back combing and finesse just to kind of make sure that everything is laying nice and flat and smooth. I decided to turn around so I wasn't talking to the wall, but yes, in this kind of back area here, sometimes it can kind of part and um, if you have a lot of hair loss there, you can see it. So I really make an effort to kind of back comb that area a bit, blend it really well with the actual topper itself so that that doesn't happen. I was speaking to the owner about that particular issue and she's 
actually in the works of coming up with a solution where she's sewing um, hair onto the headband that I'm wearing. Yes, I am wearing a headband. I'll attach a picture here. It's not ready yet. There's no word on when that will be ready, but that'll kind of help people who have that issue of hair loss right here. So I did want to mention that. So now I'm going to go on to show you how this is attached to my head. All right, so it's actually really simple. There is a kind of comb piece right here that is attached just underneath a headband. And I'm going to pull it out so that you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so that's the comb that I'm talking about. It was just looped underneath this headband that I'm wearing. And then as I pull it off, you can see I'm wearing this lovely velvet headband. It's actually really comfortable, but I'll show you this first. So there's this one comb here and it just sticks right underneath the headband. And then the hair topper itself has a band and it's adjustable that goes all the way around the headband. And I thought to myself when I first saw this, that doesn't look like it would stay on your head very well. I was kind of worried, but as soon as I put it on, I felt so secure. I like stuck my head upside down, moved it all around. I was like, this actually feels really, really secure. So I wore it to my acrobatics class. That seems to be like the test. I do um, like an acrobatics class where I flip upside down a lot and it stayed on perfectly. It was actually more comfortable than some of my toppers that have clips because when I was upside down it wasn't pulling on the clips. It was just kind of snug to my head. So this is what the topper looks like once it's off. It is past my test. Look at that part though. Here, I can get you a nice close-up now. Doesn't that look so real? Just like scalp? I was very, very impressed. So then the headband itself is just Velcro, so I have my hair through it. Basically, you just make a ponytail with your own hair. Um, when you're putting it on and then put the topper on and then you can undo the ponytail so it's not in the way I like to leave some of my hair out underneath you don't have to do that look how much it's breaking off I have not cut this hair in years it just kind of breaks off so and then the bed the headband itself just comes off like that and it's just a really soft kind of blown out right now but a really soft velvet headband and then it has velcro on it as well all right let me just pull my hair in a little ponytail here my little tiny bun. So um, that was the review on the hair topper. I was really impressed by the part. Like I said, you can get right up close and it looks absolutely real. I love the comfort of it. They're actually offering you guys a 10% off coupon code, which was so generous of them. I will leave it linked down below in case you want to check it out for yourself. Pricing is a bit pricier than synthetic hair and that will always be the case. So keep that in mind. You're paying for high quality human hair as opposed to synthetic hair. So you need to weigh out pros and cons of both, but they are offering you guys a 10% off coupon code as well so I hope that was helpful if you have any questions let me know if you try out this hair topper send me a picture I'd love to see what color you got and I think that's about it thank you so much for watching bye